Watching VJ TV. I'm your host Sierra Mora, and we're here at the Heroes and Legends Award, and we're here with James Avery. How are you doing? I'm fabulous. How are you? I'm fine. Now, I grew up watching The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and I am such a fan. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. So, I know that um, you play the uncle for uh, Will Smith, and, but you also have a lot of views about parenting. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I'm an old school parent, and uh, this is going to sound strange, I shouldn't say it, but you know, African American children were never raised like white children. There were things that we had to do. We were raised in a much more strict and confining way. Our parents, you know, you had rules, there were things you just did not do, okay? Now everybody gets carried away because we have President Obama, which is a wonderful, a wonderful opportunity, okay? But you forget about the parent. Like I say, there were three things that raised generations of black children. Number one, when I call, you come. You don't say, huh, and you don't say what. By the time I finish saying your name, your little ass will be standing right here. Be home by the time the street lights come on. Not on your way home. If I got to call your name in the neighborhood, I'm going to whip you out. And number three, and most important, if I got to leave work to come to school to see about you, you better have a broken arm or a broken leg. Those three things. And then when you look at them, they come from slavery time. You know? The safest place for your children to be was home with you. When I call you come means stuff is happening. We ain't got time to come looking for you. You need to be here. Okay? Be home by the time the street lights come on. If I have to ask you for if I have to ask a favor of my boss to get off work to come see about you. Most of the caregivers were women. What would she have to do for this man to get off? What would she have to intimidate? You know what I'm saying? You'll see. Yes. And we know that tonight is also about children and making sure that they have uh, a the arts in their school. Can, Absolutely. Can you tell us a little bit about your thoughts on that? Well, arts are, are important. Arts are the lead to everything else. Art is a way for you to use your creativity. Without the creative arts, you can't find creative answers to science problems, to uh, to math problems, that kind of situation. Not only the arts, but we as a people need more scientists, more mathematicians. We need more people who are involved in the technical running of this country. Everybody wants to be in front of the camera and be a movie star, but there's, you can be a cameraman, you can be so many other things. That can that can give to what it is. Yes, you, know? you can you can own the production. You can own the production. You can do all of these things. So we have to look at other things besides you know. Sky's the limit. That's it. But you have to believe that, that they are that we that we stand on the shoulders of people who have died to give us the sky, and we would be fools not to go there. You know, the only limitations we put on ourselves are our own limitations. You know. That's the only one. Yes. Well, I am very honored to speak with you tonight, and I hope you have a wonderful evening and enjoy yourself. Thank you. I hope you do too. Thank you. Okay.